What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bring you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Vanellox and Diggers B team. We saw this team up on the ladder. We actually versed it. I believe we lost to it at the end to a Dynamax Diggers B, but I'm pretty hyped to use it. I've been thinking about using it all week. So here we go. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who is supports channel, everyone who subscribed, likes the videos, or just tunes in and watches them. Seriously, all of it goes a long way. But in this front spot, we got this huge power and life orb digger speed. This thing is going to be able to one shot most of them, especially if it sets up its sword stance. It has sword stance, thunder punch, earthquake, and giga impact, both for stab moves. We got this toe kiss as a nice little Pokemon to cover our digger speed with follow me so it can soak up shots. Let us set up a sword stance or dynamax let us get some more hits off and ally switch actually just swap spots with it and roll from there we have vanellix right here actually not a aurora veil vale vanellix usually see aurora veil vale vanellixes because it has snow warning but this one does not have it. it has the snow warning just to get automatic full accuracy on that blizzard it has freeze dry as well for this water pokemon ice charge first turn priority i believe and protect as just like a normal blocking move then we got the women's got holding that but beery berry with moon blast energy ball tailwind and charm you guys know i love charm wins cause because it just drops the physical attack of any pokemon that comes after us so like rhyperiors and all that it does work to it so minus two they're done they are done so physical attackers with this charm wins are just going to be out the way and we won't even have to worry about them then we got in the bottom we have assault vest both tom wash right here with hydro pump t wet or not t web thunderbolt electro web and dark pulse i really like electro web so we can lower the speed of the opposing pokemon's uh, does it go both? No, it's just one. Actually, it does go both. I think it hits them both, and it drops both their speed. Yes. Usually see this move more so in solo play, but I really do like it in double, as I can just lower both the opposing Pokemon's speed. Then Mimikyu in the final spot. Mimikyu is wonderful as it has the disguise. It's just like a free hit. Has Sword Stance it can set up. It has Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. Play rough for big stab damage, and Trick Room in case we do end up want to run it. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom screen. And let me know, guys, if you do use this team, let me know how you guys do with it. Let me know if you get a couple wins, if you guys lose with it, or if it's just not your play style. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to get you guys' feedback. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. I just realized this, guys. As this video goes live, it is actually Easter. So happy Easter to everybody. Hope everybody's staying safe. Everyone's having a good holiday. But here we go. Hopping into battle number one. This guy is Dragapult. Charge our T-Tar with that Drought Torkoal. Hit my top for Fake Out. And we got a Trick Room Dust Cops, right? Or wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've seen this before. It might actually to be able to proc that T-Tar's weakness policy. So I definitely, definitely want to watch out for that. I actually might set up a Swords Dance. And then, yeah. Let's do that. Let's go here. Life Orb. Let's go here, go for follow me, sword stance, maybe a swap, do a little bit of a ally switch. But if Wimscott set up that tailwind, and then who do I bring in the final spot? I'm thinking Rotom's gonna be gonna be the good call. I feel like Rotom is where it's at. Let's get rolling with these guys. Let's get rolling with these guys. But what's going actually has the Babiri Berry, but I feel like just the rock's gonna drop if the T-Tar does get the lead. We'll definitely see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. I really don't know what is going to happen. But I definitely said we go for a Follow me, turn one, try to set up Sword Stance, eventually Dynamax, and just get rolling out with that thing. Because the reason I am bringing the Tokus first, then the Whimsicott, is because I can get that Follow Me off and all that stuff. Be able to set up that Sword Stance, all that good stuff. And then once I get that Whimsicott in there, I can Tailwind and just have first turn priority and roll out. And then that uh, Rotom's just in the back. It's a nice little back end mod to kind of finish out the match in case we need him. But I'm hoping my plan does work out. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, hit the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming a lot since the quarantine. So I hope you guys do hang out. Turn on the notifications so you know when I go live. Or you know when I go live because, you know, the schedule's just been all whacked up since quarantine so definitely just turn on notifications we've been streaming a lot more but this guy mm, can he trigger his own weakness can he trigger that thing's weakness pop? i've been seeing this i have been seeing this so yeah this is exactly what we're going to do i'm going to sword stance he's going to trigger his own weakness policy like that's a fact that is a fact um i'm just going for this follow me here i seen this i seen this before the the Dust Cops uses something, a ghost move, Shadow Sneak, to trigger that thing's weakness policy, but I'm just going to follow me, so it cannot do that. So if you want to go for that, that's totally fine by me. Let's just see what happens. He's going to Dynamax. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to go for that follow me. So hopefully the Shadow Sneak goes towards me, and then I can Sword Dance and kind of just start running things up. I might just keep following me, just so he doesn't get that Shadow Sneak off and running after this uh, Dragapult. That might be the call. That might be the call. But the tough part about it is this thing cannot get hit by... Actually, can it get hit by ground? It might be Clear Body. Right? Yeah, it should be clear body. This thing can't learn levitate, can it? That should be able to just punk on this thing with the ground move. 
Let's see, Shadow Sneak comes out. This is what we wanted. It comes towards me now for the follow me instead of going towards that Dragon Bolt and setting off his weakness policy. That is wonderful for us. And Phantasm is going to pop off here. And my token should be able to eat this up. Yeah, all day, baby. All day long. All day long. Um, best bet would be going into another follow me. My defense is going to drop, but yo, Sword Sand's coming out here. Sword Sand's coming out here, and bang, yo. Nice little, what was it, Citrus Berry, right? So we should be able to eat up another Dynamax move from this thing. Another big old Dynamax move. Uh, do we think do we see this thing uh sent off trick room now do i dump on the dust cops how should i roll this thing hmm that is gonna be tough uh we'll see we'll see but i'm definitely dynamax here i could quake up what other monsters you have what other monsters you have let's see the special defense boost it could be very good it could be very good in case she has that charge right in the back end but let's go here let's go max quaking over on you and then i'm gonna roll into another follow me you give me no reason not to just drop a follow me um actually should i just glean this no, because if he goes Shadow Sneak, he's going to trigger that thing's weakness policy, and he's just going to outspeed. So, definitely another follow me is going to come out here. I do not want him going for another Shadow Sneak and just triggering that thing and dumping all my, uh, one of my Pokemon. So, we're chilling, we're chilling. But say I would have went for a Dazzling Gleam there. He probably would have just triggered a weakness policy, dumped all my Digger's Beat, and it would have been game over from there. But, yo, we are plus two, have the Life Orb, ability, huge power. Oh, my God, everything's looking good so far. Let's see what happens here. Is he going to go for an ally switch? Like, I'd be fine with it. Helping hand is going to pop out here. I don't think that's going. Is that going to take out my Tokus now? Let's see. Let's see. As long as I get rid of this Dragon Pool, I think we're chilling. I seriously think we're chilling. Let's see what happens here. Follow me. Comes out here. Max Phantom. Can we eat this up? I would love to eat this up. Oh, the old helping hand boosts so much. How much does it boost? Is it 1.5? But it drops your defense again, which is kind of scary. But I definitely want to get this tail one up. Like I said, I definitely want to pull this out and go for the tail one now. Max Quake should be able to just uh, KO this thing, right? Stab. Life Orb. Big damage, plus two. Yeah, bye-bye, Pult. Pult's gone. Get him out of here. Get him gone. Okay. Play now. Our defense is minus two. I got to get this uh, Whimscott out. And it really depends on what Pokemon he goes into. If he goes into a physical attacker, I don't know if I should set up the Tailwind or just Charm it. We'll see. We'll see. But he could potentially set up Trick Room, which is scary. Definitely get the Whimsy Poo out here. Definitely get the Whimsy Poo. Yeah. I'm gonna send out Bibbidi Bobbidi Boobidi Bobbidi Charizard. I'm cool with it. A T-Bolt can come crashing down and take that thing out. Um, and it's physical, and we're plus one on physical. Okay, so lightning definitely into the slot. And I'm going to set up this tail one. I'm going to definitely set up this tail one. He can't Dynamax. We're kind of sitting pretty. I, I can see an ally switch, but still, that goes after Dust Cops, and maybe he goes into a uh, Heat Wave. And if, as long as he doesn't get the burn, we're kind of chilling here. But I'll get this tail one up, and I have my Rotom in the back and do some work. Here goes our tail one. My Digger Speed should go first now. Right? My Digger Speed should be able to outspeed that Charizard in this tail one and be able to finish. Yeah. Bye-bye, Charizard. Go on. Get him out of here, yo. Match one. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted so far. This is exactly what I was thinking. I said this in the beginning when we were looking at teams. I was like, I'll go Tokus, Winch, Cot in the back, set up, follow me, Swords Dance, roll out, and then get the Tailwind and kind of just be able to go. So everything's working to the plan right now. To the plan. And like I said, I brought that Rotom just in case we're going to need it. And there goes the Trick Room. And that, this is going to be where the uh, match gets a little bit harder. It really depends what Pokemon is. it is. If it's a T-Tar, I'm just going to start charming that thing down. I'll be able to dump on that. Let's see. The T-Tar. Is it Tar? It's a Torkoal. Okay. So, is Torkoal... I'm trying to think. Is Torkoal physical attacking? This is kind of scary. My defense stinks. I mean, I got to go here. And then I kind of got to go... Right? Is Torkoal physical? He might be. I feel like some moves are physical, some are not. He's going to go for an eruption, obviously. And there goes an ally switch. Like, this is what I said. This is where it comes tough. Like, he can get a double kill here, and that's a fact. All right, we'll charm you. That's a fact. This thing could get a double kill. I mean, he's going to take me out next turn, though, if he doesn't kill me now. Let's see. All right, Digger's Beat eats up like crazy. That's beautiful. We should be able to take out the Clops here. Right? Clops should be able to go down. I think that thing might be special attacking. It's, yeah, I think it's special attacking. Sometimes I get confused with the eruption. Look at that. Evo like Dust Cops gone. Get him out of here. Um, because sometimes I do get very, very confused here with the what's it called? With um but there, there, there goes my Dynamax turns. I don't know what we're gonna do here. This one's gonna be tough. Like I said, sometimes I get confused with eruption. I know heat wave special attacking, but I think eruption is as well, and it just throws me off. But let's go. Okay. Um dude, this one's actually really, really tough. Uh do I protect? I don't have protect. If I get EQ off, we're chilling. We don't have mole breaker, so we can levitate that. Hydro pump or T bolt? That's a real question. 
think Hydro Pump. If we land this, we can do some big damage. I know we're in a drought, guys. But, you know, this is scary. Eruption. Ooh! That can buy Diggers me. Don't you dare tell me we lose this one. I think my Rotom can, can uh, do this one up. If he's choiced into that uh, Eruption, we could be chilling. Hydro Pump. Yo, what you mean? What do you mean? That is so whack. Get out of my face, dude. I guess we'll go for a T-Ball. We missed the Hydro Pump. I wonder how much that was going to do. Solar Beam's coming out here. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, we lost this one. Bruh. Just when we thought we had it in the bag. Oracle comes in to save the day. Whack. Eat it. Okay, he eats. Do we have a berry? What do we have? We have a salt vest. That's why. We need a paralyze on him or something. Or like a crit. Let's see. C paralyze? Paralyze? Tailwind Peter's out. Um, Can I protect? No. We need him to miss. We need this dude to miss and we need to end him here. If we did... I feel like we won this game if we didn't miss that Hydro Pump. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Did we really just miss that Hydro Pump? Is, was that Hydro Pump doing enough to actually take that out? Whack. Not to take it out, but to bring it down to that that standard right there. And then we, we would be able to eat up that Solar Beam and roll from there. But yo. Potential whack. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. If that Hydro Pump would have hit, would we have won that game? It is time for a win. It's time to get this win with this team. I thought we had it in that last match. Like I said, every time I say that we have it in the bag, it's like something happens. He went Trick Room. He went Torkoal. We missed an attack and bang, we ended up losing. But I really did like the plays I made with the Tokus, the Winscott, and that Diggers. We rolled out strong in the beginning and just dumped on a lot of his mods. But he has Meowstic, Charizard, Sylveon, Poltsky, Rotom, and that, uh, I'm guessing, Defiant Passimian with Fake Out. So... Gotta watch out for that guy. Gotta watch out for that guy. Not to lower his stats. Um, how do I want to roll this one? Do I want to roll just Tailwind right off the bat and get rolling and take the whole speed advantage from this? But, hmm, maybe? Maybe. I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. I actually am going to Dynamax turn one. I'm going to Dynamax turn one and go... Actually, you know what? Let's go here. Let's take. Let's not go turn one there. Let's go here. Let's go you 2 Digger speed in the back end and then in the final spot... Do we go Mimikyu or Rotom? Mimikyu or Rotom? Mm -hmm. Tough. I said we go Mimikyu, to be honest. We have that, that Disguise. We have Shadow Sneak. Uh, we can do some work with that. Mm. Right? Mimi Mims? I'm thinking Mimi Mims is the call. Let's get Mimi Mims up in here. Mimi Mims! Yeah, yeah. Yo, I love Mimikyu's... When it, what is that? Chinese, Japanese, or Korean? One of those writings. One of his uh, letters looks like a little smiley face with like a side smirk. I'll show you guys in a little bit. It's like... It's like that, yo, it's so funny. I see it every time. It just stands out to me. It's a smiley face. It's legit. It's a little side smirk. Like, I don't even know how to do it. It's like, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. But he goes Meowstic and Charizard. Okay, this is going to follow me. Gold Meowstic looks absolutely lovely. It's absolutely lovely. But we do have the Sash on. And I can definitely see a Heat Wave coming out here. But I think my Vanelks will outspeed that thing after I get this Tailwind up. And I think Blizzard can do some big boy damage. Some big boy damage. Well, let's see. Let me show you guys the smiley face real quick before I forget. Look at that. His third letter. That's a sideways smiley smirk. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> but yo, Tailwind's going to pop here. And then I'm just, I'm going to just drop a blizzard. I'm going to drop a blizzard. Why isn't blizzard super effective? I thought it would be. But he's going to go for a heat wave. We're going to get this Tailwind up. I am Sash, so like you could take out my, uh, my what's called? Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. Hopefully it still connects. Like it doesn't boost the damage. It just makes it connect. Okay, so it still connects. Can you show me a nice little freezy pop? No freezy pops for me? Okay, that's going to take us down to our stash. He's probably going to get a, get a burn or something and take out my Vanellix. Watch, you guys will see. Watch, just watch, just watch. But yeah, we're bringing out the Digger Speed now. We're bringing out the Digger Speed now. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Solar power comes out. Okay, so we will outspeed and we will be able to take out that Charizard next turn. I'm going to get this Diggersby up here, and I'm D-Maxing. I am totally D-Maxing 100%. All right, let's get this D-Max rolling. If I can take out this Charizard, we can say, see you later, punk. All right. Dynamax, Max Lightning. Um, I said we go here in case this thing... I think Vanelix got, to, got him down. So we just go into a... Uh, I mean, this thing could have ally switch, so I might as well still drop the Lightning. I could see this thing definitely have an ally switch. So I'm going to go here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the electric terrain. And I'm going to go for a... Uh, do I go Blizzard or do I just... Uh, yeah, let's go Blizzard here. Just in case he does go for maybe like a follow me, I can still be able to take out that Charizard. We'll see. We'll see. But watch. We're going to miss our attack. Why is this thing going to die for? 
Why is this Diggers being a dipole? But yo, Diggers be I think he's one of the most underrated Pokemon. For sure. His ability, what is it, huge power it's called, and that life orb, like, dude, this thing hits like an absolute truck. It really does. It really does. It is absolutely insane. But we got this thing in the tailwind. He doesn't really need a sword dance, like I said, to thrive. Oh, who are you Dynamaxing? Who are you Dynamaxing? Is it the it's gotta be the Charizard? No way you're going Meow Stick. He went with the Charizard. He's got to, I'm telling you, he's gotta go like ally switch or something. Or follow me. In order for him to do that, that's gotta be like he's gonna go for that uh, big fire burn play thingy. And he, okay, he guards like I'm again, I'm totally fine by that. Aren't I going after the Meow Stick with this one? What's there pops here? Does it hit the Meow Stick? Let's see what happens. But we do take out the Meow Stick, which is wonderful. Bye bye, Meow Stick. Meow Stick, gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And of course, our Blizzard misses. But, like, I get it. Isn't that like 70% actually? So, that's pretty fair. That's fair. But, yo, I'm like my Hydro Pump be missing like that. That's that when it's all BS, baby. <laughs> so, our power is going to jot this thing down a little bit more. Um, I just have my Mimikyu. I might as well just slide him in, in, in. He should be able to outspeed that Charizard and should be able to take it out. And then I can dump on this Rotom. It has to levitate. So, um, hmm. What I have to do. Oh, my Vanelx is still alive. I totally forgot about my boy Vanelx. Um, do I just lightning zap this thing? I say I just go here. I can see an ally switch, like, hands down. And I'm gonna drop another, another Blizzard. You give me no point. Yo, Blizzard. Does that take out the Charizard? It does. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. Double kill here? I think so. I think so. I think we're just running this one. Like I said, dude, Diggersby is phenomenal. He's phenomenal. He can eventually just run things. And after this takes us out, we still have another Dynamax turn. All right? This should take it out. Bill. Bye bye, Rotom. Bye bye. Yeah, yo. I highly recommend using this team. Using this team, like I said, why'd I even do this? I was thinking, like, the red code is at the bottom of the screen. If you scroll back to the video, the beginning, you guys know where to find it and all that. And it's in the description. It, it is in the description. But, yeah, we got this one in the bag. It's locked in. Like, I can for sure say. We got this one in the bag. He's probably just going to lead this match. I'm just going to Quake, and I'm going to Ice Shard. Just in case this thing is uh, sashed up. We can take off a sash, but, dude, he's definitely canceling. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Beautiful. One and one with this team. Yo, it's time to get a winning record. This team is, like, definitely my play style. I really like just Dynamax and, and rolling out. We're setting up and rolling out after that. Okay, so I just realized this. So, when this recording's going up, it is Easter. I already said that. But we're using a bunny on our team with Diggersby. That is hilarious. I didn't even notice it until we just finished off that last battle. I was like, bro, we're using a bunny on Easter. Let's get it. But we're going up against a really, really strong Trick Room team here with that Butterfree to set the Sleep Powder. He has Rage Powder as well. He's got the NDD for Follow Me's. You know about the Rhyperior. He's the Trick Room King over there. Hatterene also, Dust Cops. And what is that thing called again? Little Anchormon. I totally forget its name. Why am I forgetting the name? But we got to pick our team. We have 25 seconds left about. I will figure out his name, though. But, um, who do I go with here? Um, I definitely want to bring Mimi Mims in here. I think I'm going to go Vanellix Mimikyu. And then roll out here. And then, bibbidi bobbidi mm. I might roll out with the Tokus in the back end. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. But what is that anchor Pokemon's name? I know it. Delmize. There we go. I got it. I knew it started with a D. I couldn't figure it out, but yo, if you guys are hanging out with me in this third and final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Easter squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who hangs out and lets me know who sticks around and watches the whole video. But here we go, guys. Here we go. Can we get this? I haven't went two and one in two videos. I've been going one and two. It's been like, bruh, it's been, it's been eating me. It's been eating me, but he's definitely setting up Trick Room. Um, That's totally fine by me. If you want to set up Trick Room, I'll, I can end it next turn. Solve this guy's snow warning is going to pop, but I'm just gonna drop a blizzard here. He's gonna go psychic surge, so no ice surges or not, not ice surge. I know ice shards or shadow sneaks. Gotta remember that. Stick it right up here because the psychic, the psychic surge doesn't allow first turn priority. Move. We're gonna go there, and then I, <laughs> you know, I really want to go in that. Uh, do I sword dance here? Now we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna apply some pressure over on this hatterene. Apply some pressure, yeah. Apply it good, yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. Blizzard. Any freezy pops? Show me a couple freezy pops. No freezy pops. Play rough comes out here. Good thing I did not roll out with that trick room. Good thing I did not roll out with that trick room. Psychic's gonna. I think he thought maybe I was gonna roll out with the trick room. But nah, son. We're not doing it. I'm not doing it. Disguise. We'll, we'll, we'll take a little bit of plop skis. Plop. <laughs> Disguise was busted. I wish I did have charm. Trick room does uh, roll out here. Uh, that's gonna be tough now. 
I can't go with Ice Shard and just take out that thing. Can the Hail take it out? Show it to me. Show it to me. Mm, ah, ah, ooh, ee. That one hurts. Um, I'm going to protect. I'm going to uh, run the Trick Room. Maybe I should have ran the Trick Room. That could have been clean. It could have been clean if I would have ran Trick Room. Yeah, I'm going to definitely protect here. Like now I'm thinking about it, I should have brought my Whimsicott. I have charm on that thing. Ooh. Please don't take out my Mimi Mims. Leave him alone. All right, so Hatterene is going to die here. Here goes our Protect. Leave my Mimikyu alone. I think this might have been a bad call, because I think they're just going to double up on my Mimikyu. <gasps> Follow me. We should be chilling. We should be chilling here. That's something comes out here. Let's go. Let's get it. I should be able to eat this up, right? I should be able to eat this up. Give it to me. Trick Room is good. We all right. We are chilling. We are chilling just fine. We're gonna counteract the trick room with our trick room. Bring it back to normal, and I can send off another blizzard here. And I get another turn with my boy, with my mimi mimis. Unless he brought another trick room user, which maybe he did. I'm thinking he brought Rhyperior and Delmise, or Rhyperior and Butterfree. Butterfree. Let's see who he brings out here. He brings out the Butterfree. Okay, that's uh, that's fair. Uh, can my Blizzard. I don't know if we're going to outspeed that thing, which is scary now. I'm going to go Blizzard. And I'm going to go into a uh, play rough. The brawl on you. The sleeps are the sleeps are going to get me. I'm scared of the sleeps. You know Butterfree lands sleep every single time. It's just a pain. But if I can just land this Blizzard. Oh, we do go first. We outspeed it. Okay, so Butterfree's gone, even if it is Sash. It is Sash. Blizzard's just going to take it out. And he's probably going to drop a sleep on me. Yeah, that's totally fine by me. I'm cool with it. Butterfree gone. I think we bring out Big Dog now. I think it's time to bring out Big Dog. Play Rough comes out. We're gonna take you out. I think. Oh no! Actually, he's gonna take me out. Dang it, dude! I should have went into the what's it called. I didn't know my Vanelx would outspeed. I should have went into the uh, the Indeedy. But there goes my uh, Mimi Mims. Mimi Q doing some work, counteracting the Trick Room, taking out some Mons. Let's get it. Uh, do I bring in Diggersby now? Hmm. Or do I bring in Togekiss? Because I'm thinking that uh. I'm thinking he's bringing in that right here. This is tough. This is tough. Actually, let's uh, I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Dynamax and I'm gonna Max Guard. I think that's the play. I'm gonna Dynamax Max Guard here. And I'm gonna swap that Vanelix. I'm gonna swap that Vanelix. I think that's the play. I 100% think that's the play. Swap that Vanelix out. And just go into a Dynamax Max Guard. Because I'm going to need some protection for my Diggers to be here. I really am. Because if I can get that Delmise out the way, we're chilling. I can see him going follow me next turn. So we'll take that out. But then we'll get another turn in here. But I seriously think he's Dynamaxing and coming after my Diggers me. So it comes down to this. Ice Cream Cone, get back here. You're back here, buddy. We'll get out uh, Togi Togue. Togue Kiss has a smiley face as well. Fourth letter in. Look at it. Think I'm lying? Check it out. But here comes our Dynamax. We're guarding. He's got a Dynamax at Delmise. That's his last option here. But he did not. He did not bring that right period. He, he decided to go in with the uh, with the Delmise. But like I said, we have a speed advantage. We do indeed have the speed advantage. And does Delmise have levity? That is the real question. Does Delmise have levity? We have the ally switches. We have all this. I can see him going for a follow me. Maybe let's see. He going for a follow me. I seriously think he's gonna go follow me, or he might double. In. Please do not go after my Togi Togi. There's no way you saw that swap coming. There's no way. You see a big digger speed, you're like, dude, I gotta hit that thing right here right now. But yo, shiny Delmai's looking dope. He's looking real dope. But I love the red on it. I love the red. Let's see what he does. We go guard in here with my double ear hands. <laughs> he has four hands. Follow me comes out. I'm cool with it. That wastes a turn over on that side. And hopefully the move comes into me. Let's see. Yep, it does. Bang. You can tell by the little lag and all that. That's why I said it a little bit early. But there we go. Beautiful. We got that going. I can definitely go follow me here. Take out the... the what's it called here? Is Delmise going to guard? I mean, safe play would be to go for just follow me straight up here. And then go into the Quake and boost our special defense. Do I go into the Quake? Uh, yeah. Because I think a follow me is coming out here. I don't think neither of these Pokemon have ally switch. But yeah, I think we quick on that side because if he guards, like, this is what I'm thinking. He can uh, make, like, an odd play and go follow, or he can guard here and thinking I'm going into him, but I'm not. I have to go into the Indeed. Because if he guards here, then he can block it and then follow me and still have a Delmai's big turn. 
But I think we're chilling here. I really do think we're chilling here. Bro, MVP of this match, if we win this one, you guys know who it is. It's Mimi Mims. Mimi Mims coming up clutch. Double follow me. I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. We'll be able to take out the Ndidi. We'll be able to get off a shot on that thing. And I can just keep rolling out with these uh, follow me's here. There's no need for it to go into an ally switch because it's not like he has a stalwart mon or anything. Danny, just follow me. It's just going to work wonderful. Like, there's no need to risk the ally switch when follow me is just going to do the job. And we have the special defense boost. But, yo, I think we're back. I think we're back, baby. I think we're back. Steel Spike's coming into it. That's totally fine. We die. But I think we're back. I think we're chilling here. We can go into a nice lightning here. He's going to boost his special defense or his regular defense. Whack. That's whack. That's whack. Uh, who do we have in the back end? We have Vanel. We're going to set the, the hail again. <laughs> The weirdness disappeared from the battlefield. I'm ready to set it again. Think I'm playing around? Niggers be. Oh, dude, he has no good moves. But this is super effective. Van Elk should outspeed. I need him to wake up. We are sashed. Right? Oh, dude, I don't know now. Now that I just said, like, oh, we're doing good, like, ugh. I'm looking a little scary here. But, um, this thing is physical attacking. I think I. Do I just set the lightning? Like, I'll go Blizzard, obviously. Uh. Quick stab. I'd rather uh, go for Quake. Right? I'd rather go for Quake. <laughs> I could stab and it could boost some of her stats, but this dude's physical attacking. But now it's just slumpy poo. Quake's gonna come out here. How much damage can we do to this Quake? I think this thing is nice, bulky defensively. And he just boosts his defense, so yeah, we're not gonna do too, too much. Eep! Eep! Go, ahead, go overgrowth on me. I need to wake up. Like, that's how we're gonna win this match. I think I might have said it again and blew the match. Steel Spike's coming in here on oh, my Vanelx. Vanelx is going to sash up. I need Vanelx to wake up here. That's like our only way of winning. Like, I definitely need Vanelx to wake up. Vanelx, wake up! <laughs> Defense boost again. Luckily, we are special attacking. So once... like Vanelx, you need to wake up. That's a fact. Come on. Don't you dare show me that three turns sleep. This will be three turns in a slumber bag. Hmm. Cause this dude has it in the bag if Vanel goes down. This is looking tough. Uh, let's go here. And let's go. I'm not gonna go EQ. I guess I'll go Thunder Punch. Maybe try to get a Paralyze or something. Oh! Oof, wake up, Vanelx. Yes! Yes! Vanelx wakes up. Blizzard comes through. The big damage here. Bang, bang. See you later in the bag. Oh my god. I said that we had it in the bag, and I totally forgot that this thing had Steel Spike. And it took out my tokens, and I was like, now we're not sitting so good. But, yo, let's get it. 2-1. and one, We absolutely wrecked with this team. This team 100% fit my play style. I am in love with this team. Everything about it, from that Diggersby just setting up to having the toe kiss, neglect some shots, Women's Scott has to set up. We got everything involved in this. I'm a big fan of this team, and I'm probably going to be using it on the ladder to push some ranked tiers. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.